Good morning. Our entrance hymn is number 705. 705, Take Up Your Cross. Our cantor is Cassandra. We begin the cele <coughs> celebration of this Holy Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> let us include in our prayer the, oh, sorry, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <clears throat> let us include in our prayers the intentions offered for this Mass. We pray for the souls of Fausta Cruz, Rosa Bologna, Amador Palaad <clears throat> and Tu Kuong Tran. May, they, may our prayers help them and that they may enjoy eternal rest with God in heaven. Let us begin by asking for mercy and forgiveness for the sins we have committed. Lord Jesus, you reconcile us with one another and with the Father. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Nahum. See upon the mountains there advances the bearer of good news, announcing peace. Celebrate your feasts, O Judah, fulfill your vows. For nevermore shall you be invaded by the scoundrel. He is completely destroyed. The Lord will restore the vine of Jacob, the pride of Israel though ravagers have ravaged them and ruined the tendrils. Woe to the bloody city, all lies, full of plunder, whose looting never stops. The crack of the whip, the rumbling sounds of wheels, horse a gallop, chariots bounding. Calvary charging, the flame of the sword, the flash of the spear, the many slain, the heaping corpses, the endless bodies to stumble upon. I will cast filth upon you, disgrace you, and put you to shame, till everyone who sees you runs from you, saying, Nineve is destroyed. Who can pity her? Where can one find any to console her? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is I who deal death and give life. It is I, I who deal death, death and, and give life. life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his servants he shall have pity. It is, it is I, I who deal death, death and give life. life. Learn then that I, I alone, am God and there is no God besides me. It is I who bring both death and life, I who inflict wounds and heal them. It is, it is I, I who deal death and give life. I will sharpen my flashing sword, and my hand shall lay hold of my quiver. With vengeance I will repay my foes and requite those who hate me. It is I who deal death and give life. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit will there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. First and foremost, I would like to bring your attention to whom Jesus was addressing this gospel. Jesus said to his disciples. Now, what is a disciple? A disciple is a student, one who is learning, one who is still teachable one who follows the teacher. And what Jesus mentioned here is the cost of discipleship. The cost of discipleship, which is to, to 
deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Jesus Christ is saying, put your attention away to away from yourself, away from your you know, individual desires, pleasures, but take up your cross and follow him. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. So whoever just feeds and keeps himself alive will lose it, but one who is ready to lose his life for the sake of the kingdom of God, for, his, for eternal life, will find it. You might say all these are, though all this could be very impractical. Maybe you would say all these are really demanding. But that's the truth. That's a fact. To be a disciple of the Lord, there, is, there are demands. There is a cost of discipleship. But we know at the end, those who remain as disciples will be rewarded with the glory of God. There is a difference between a believer and a disciple. A believer is one who believes in Jesus, believes in God. Probably they would come to church, but that's it. They continue to live the life that they would normally live. They would follow what the world is telling them, but their lives are not transformed to imitate God, to follow Jesus. As I've said, a disciple is one who imitates Jesus, who imitates the Master. And so, probably we can examine ourselves today. Are we simply believers of the Lord? Or are we disciples of the Lord? Are we striving to imitate and to follow what Jesus taught us? Or are we just happy that we believe in God, but our lives seems not to be affected by it? And so, again, this gospel today makes sense only to those who wish to be disciples. And so may we humble ourselves, put ourselves aside, and allow Jesus to become alive in us. Let us now bring our prayers to the Father, knowing that He is merciful and that He loves all of us. Let us pray for the whole Catholic Church that she may continue to be the teacher for all of us in teaching us the way of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us also pray for leaders of nations that during this time of crisis in the world, during this time of pandemic, they may always consider and decide for the good of the people. Let us pray to the Lord. And let us pray for all the sick, those who suffer, especially of this pandemic. We pray that God may grant them healing and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for each one of us and our 
loved ones and our respective uh, family members, we pray that we may be open in following Jesus, not just simply to be a believer, but truly be a disciple. Let us pray to the Lord. And let us remember all those who have died. We remember Fausta Cruz, Rosa Bologna, Amador Palaad, Arcadio de Castro Jr., and Tu Kong Tran. We pray that they may enjoy eternal rest with God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, we lift up all these prayers to you, putting our trust in your loving hands. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will not hunger, and whoever believes in me will not thirst. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and let us follow Jesus, be his disciples. Thanks be to God. <laughs>